Hi guys, so um, I still don't meet the criteria to be able to go live on here. I don't have enough followers or enough views. <laughs> go figure. Uh, yes, I cut my hair. If you remember, I went through that crazy red hair phase after getting the protection order against my husband and he passed away. And sadly, my hair was not tolerating it because I don't do stuff like that to my hair. Usually it's been years and years. And um, when I had to bleach it to get it back to my natural blonde color, it just destroyed it. So um, it was like breaking off and stuff. And so I just went ahead and cut it. Um, it's only temporary. It'll be growing back very quickly. I have conditioning treatment in it right now, so it's um, not styled or anything. Uh, so I just don't have the bottles to be able to sell the anti-aging serum. I just don't have them, and I don't have the money. I've had, what, four sales and five notary clients, and so um, in like three or four months, and... I've had to create a GoFundMe and um, I just don't have it. I don't have it to be able to sell it to people because I don't have the money for the bottles. But I'm going to share the ingredients and you can feel free to purchase them and make it yourself. It's actually really easy. Um, I prefer people to learn how to do these kind of things because these are things um, unlike the intense process of like making perfume oils and stuff like that. Um, these are fairly simple, and of course, I make most of mine for this, but there's a lot of them that I don't know how to make, like retinol serum and stuff like that. And so, um, and then I just don't have the money to get the ingredients for them, a rule of oil and stuff. So, um, I'm going to give you guys the instructions and the full list of ingredients. Also, let me show you my half gallon jars I use. So these are my half gallon mason jars. Um, these I do have, of course, because I use them for a lot of other things as well, um, specific things that I have to make um, at home, like Lily stuff and all that for her skin. So these are half gallon mason jars. And I can't find my glasses, but um, I can tell you that it holds a total of uh, six cups. And this mark right here is the half gallon mark. So when I make any of my oils, I try to make sure that I make a half gallon to uh, two gallons of each. And it lasts a long time because these you can really stretch. Um, and um, this one in particular is just absolutely phenomenal. As you can see, I've had a lot of success with it as I've been working over the years and looking up other people's recipes and their old fashioned remedies for skin, um, working diligently with things that I also already knew about and just have come up with this incredible anti-aging serum that is just so, 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 so good for the skin. And um, even, I mean, it's just really very good for anyone. It doesn't have to just be for people with aging skin. Um, sorry, bear with me. Um, Okay, so um, we're going to use two half gallon mason jars um, for my personal recipe. You can use one and only use uh, the half of what I show here because I have everything times two um, for a reason because that's how I have to make it so that I have enough to last. It's just so much easier that way and it really does work really well. Um, uh, I'm sorry, bear with me. Okay, let's see. I think I've got everything on there that's supposed to be in there. Um, that was the only thing I forgot was the vitamin C serum. So I've got it in there for you. I'm going to show you this. I want you guys to listen carefully. You're going to take a nice big mixing bowl, okay? Um, or you can just simply use your two half gallon mason jars. You're going to have, I'm going to show you, and I can post the link to my document that I made for this in the comments. Um, 
you notice how good my skin looks. If you remember, it was starting to look pretty bad. I was starting to get the gobbler. Lily was making fun of my chicken wings. Hold on. And um, I'm actually losing the chicken wings. They're tightening up. Uh, the skin on my neck and chest is tightening up where it was starting to have that gobbler look. And I was starting to, at 48, get some lines around my eyes. And when I smile here, and they're gone. And we know that the face, neck, chest, and hands are the areas that age the most. If you notice the creases in my hands that were starting to form around the wrist um, here, if you look at your hands, ladies and men, gentlemen, they do start to do that, but mine have actually tightened up and smoothed out. I don't have the loose skin trying to wrinkle up when I bend my arm now. So it's actually working really, really well. I found the holy grail of anti-aging serums. And I'm really excited to share this with you guys because it shouldn't be a secret. There's no such thing as being able to patent natural remedies. As we've talked about before, it's illegal. And so there's no reason for me to keep this a secret. And I'm going to teach you right now. And you can use it all over your body. And it will help keep your skin firm and taut and nourished and bright. And even even also evens out um, 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 uneven skin tones. Like I had a lot of blotchiness from the sun messing up my skin from all those years of living in Florida. And it's actually a nice even tone. Obviously I don't use filters or makeup. Uh, even when I wear makeup at all, it's just eye makeup. So I don't wear all the other stuff. So you guys are seeing the raw, um, the raw finishing uh, results here. So let's get into this. We have Again, the half gallon mason jar, let me make sure that I, you know, this really sucks because I don't know how to make my phone turn around. So the half gallon mason jar, vitamin C serum, two ounces, I ionic minerals, liquid silica, two ounces, retinol serum, two ounces, marula oil, two ounces. Oops, sorry, four ounces. Sorry, guys. Geranium oil, um, 0.34 ounces, niacinamide oil, 0.67 ounces, pineapple extract oil, two ounces, uh, bayo, baobab oil, 8.82 ounces. Whoops, I go too fast. Rose hip oil, four ounces, frankincense oil, eight ounces, sweet almond oil, 10 ounces, carrot seed oil, four ounces, Fennel seed oil, four ounces. Instant coffee, four tablespoons. Actually, two tablespoons per jar. Aloe vera gel, two cups or one cup per jar. And then you fill to the half gallon mark with castor oil the rest of the way. So you're gonna take, first of all, you're gonna take your castor oil. Um, or really, actually, you can just use your aloe vera gel and your sweet almond oil and put that in a saucepan. And, you know, um, uh, like I said, you're going to use, hold on, let me put one cup times two so that I'm not getting you guys ahead of yourselves here. Bear with me. So, um... So you're gonna warm your castor oil or your aloe vera gel with your sweet almond oil, um, just a little bit of castor oil. That way you can kind of get it to, you know, uh, help dissolve the instant coffee. You're gonna add your two tablespoons of instant coffee and you're gonna dissolve it. Don't let it boil. You want it on very low. You only wanna be able to dissolve the instant coffee and get it to blend with the oils, specifically the sweet almond oil, that's your carrier oil, okay? That's what's gonna make it more spreadable because castor oil is sticky. You know, and a lot of these are quite heavy and they're sticky. And so unless you add a carrier oil to help it kind of smooth out, like especially with the aloe vera gel and stuff, like just get a bottle of it. If you don't feel like going through the process of opening up the sprigs of aloe and, uh, you know, shaving them out and blending them down into a nice smooth um, gel, then just buy it. You can buy a good one, okay? Um, in those big jugs, like I think even Walmart sells them in the, um, 
um, pharmacy area. Okay. Uh, they're fine. Um, so you're going to mix all of that together. Again, I have the recipe on here with times two and stuff after it. So remember, that's if you're making two mason jars worth, which that's what I choose to do because it makes it last a lot longer. And that way um, I'm buying in bulk and making in bulk. And it just makes it easier because it's a lot cheaper that way in the long run. So you're literally just going to open up each one of those bottles, the... Um, Carrot seed oil, rosehip oil, a baobab oil, pineapple extract oil, niacinamide oil, geranium, marula, retinol, ionic minerals, liquid silica, vitamin C, all of those. And you're literally going to take your whole bottle and put it in the one. So let's just leave off the times two for now. You're going to take each one of the ingredients and you're going to literally dump it in your jar. <laughs> Okay, and then you're going to add your warmed sweet almond oil with coffee, dissolved. Don't use regular coffee grounds. It's way too harsh, okay? You can't really get it to blend. That's why I'm telling you to make sure you warm it enough with the almond oil, sweet almond oil, to be able to get it to absorb together and dissolve. And then you put it in there, and that's going to help give you that awakened skin right it's gonna wake up your skin and brighten it and um and you're gonna put literally everything in the jar so let's go from the top to the bottom okay you're gonna put in your half gallon mason jar your two ounces of vitamin c serum two ounces of two i'm sorry two ounces of i have to fix that uh ionic minerals liquid silica your two ounces of retinol four ounces of marula, 0.34 ounces of geranium, 0.67. Actually, you're going to put one and a half of the geranium bottles because you're going to get like three of them. You need one and a half of those. So 0.34 ounce bottle of geranium oil and half of a 0.34. So I can't do math. You guys figure it out. Um, your 0.67 ounces of niacinamide oil, your two ounces of pineapple extract, your 8.82 ounces of, uh, of baobab oil, your four ounces of rosehip oil, frankincense, your whole eight ounces, uh, sweet almond oil, 10 ounces. Again, you're already warming that with your coffee, uh, instant coffee to put in there. Uh, the carrot seed oil, four ounces you put in there, fennel seed oil, four ounces you put in there, um, the aloe vera gel, at least one cup. Um, and fill it the rest of the way, like I said, with castor oil to the half gallon mark. You're going to shake it and stir it for the next 48 hours. Every time you walk by it, just like we do with the laundry detergent, right? And the dish soap and all that. You're going to keep shaking it and you're going to stir it, whisk it or something. You know what I mean? And let it get as absorbed together as possible before using it. And here's some more important instructions. Take pictures of yourself before you use it. So you have before pictures. <laughs> apply lightly. You don't need a lot. You don't have to apply it liberally. There's no point to that. Um, I find it the very best when I've just gotten out of a shower or bath, a nice hot one of my pores are really good and open and it just absorbs. No, it doesn't cause any breakouts or anything. It doesn't clog the pores. Um, massage it into the skin, massage it gently into your face and your neck and upward strokes and your chest. I think we've all been through all of those on the back of your arms and your belly and your breasts, anywhere that you have loose skin all over your body. Even if you don't have loose skin on it, your butt cheeks, where you have a whole load of cottage cheese enough to feed an army, right? Like I do did because now this stuff is working, but I'm not going to show you my butt. I'm sorry. I wish I could show you my stretch marks and my, my kangaroo pouch from all those C-sections and babies and hysterectomy because it's really tightening up. It looks really good, and I'm really excited about that. But I'm sorry, I'm not willing to do that. Okay, I know other people do and stuff, but I'm not willing to show my body like that. You'll find out for yourself. You have my word. Um, allow, make sure that you are massaging it in well, okay, especially in the areas that have loose skin present or any kind of fine lines and wrinkles present or discoloration present, okay. Um, you can also use it on your hair. 
Uh, you could put a little bit in your shampoo and conditioner and it will help to also give new life to your hair. That's part of what I have in my hair today, but I have other components that I'll be sharing at another time that do help stimulate growth and thickening as well as um, really nourishing it. And that's why after this happened, it's really important after I cut my hair that I do that and I do it with lilies. And that's why her hair grows like six to seven inches a year. Um, and stays incredibly gorgeous. She has like this waterfall of white, shiny, luscious freaking hair platinum blonde albino. So you want to make sure you also let it absorb as much as possible before putting on your clothes. Otherwise your clothes are going to be all oily, right? Um, and oops, last but not least, wait at least four weeks before you start taking pictures, updated pictures, because you're going to drive yourself insane. So give it at least four weeks to see results concerning pictures. And every four weeks, keep doing it. And over the course of six months to a year, you are literally going to see the transformation. Thanks for joining. I'm gonna post these ingredients in the comments, like I said, as well as in the description. And um, happy anti-aging. Have a blessed day.